I've been really into these Japanese YouTube videos lately about real estate, and I was listening to one the other day, and it kind of made me chuckle, and so I thought we could study it together. I'll play it, and then maybe you'll understand all of it, or a little bit of it, or none of it at all, but hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand all of it. And maybe I'll understand it a little better too. Okay, let's listen. Okay, so I should provide some context to make that easier to understand. This series of videos, Mane Skill Set, Mane Skill Set, I don't know which language I'm speaking right now, Mane Skill Set, they have this guy, Rintaro, who is a celebrity, and they're teaching him various money skills like investing and all that stuff and for this video they have a real estate a real estate expert teaching them all about real estate and he's introducing the what he calls the goal of the conversation but in, in like he writes it in english but really it's uh, the topic of the conversation sometimes they use the word goal but it's not totally a goal it's yeah so that's the basis of what's going on and he's introducing the topic that they're going to discuss. So watch it one more time, knowing the context, and see what you think this time. Okay, so let's break that down. First, we have what he's writing on the board there. He writes, san, so that's real estate, literally not moving product, is, you know, a property that doesn't move. Uh, and then, o is the object marking particle. Here, it's marking san, which is the object. And then, seisuru is the verb. So that means like to control, and specifically it's in this context, it's like dominating control, if that makes sense. Like sometimes you'll hear a phrase like, Sekai o seishita otoko, which would be like literally the man who controlled the world, but it would be like the man who's dominating the world, for example, in a specific sport or whatever. If you look at the, let's look at the definition actually. Seisuru. Yeah, so if you look at number two, jibun no mono ni suru, so to make one's own thing, shihai suru. And shihai suru is like to, also to control, but more so to rule over. So for example, sekai o shihai suru would be to actually rule the world, like a dictator or a god or something, would have dominion over the whole world. Okay, so let's try to keep that in mind. And then, so, fudo san o sei suru, so now we have literally to control real estate, mono, so it's a noun phrase, and mono means person, so the person who controls real estate. Wa is the topic marking particle. And then we have the same phrase again, the nani nani o seisuru. So this time though, instead of fudosan o seisuru, it's saying jinsei o seisuru. So controls, uh, jinsei means life, so your life. So literally he's saying the person who controls real estate controls their life. But that's kind of weird in translation. And so I think I would translate it to something like the master of real estate is the master of his own life. And then he says, ni nanimas. The reason he says ni nanimas is because, I mean, literally that means becomes, but he's saying is, that is what our goal is. So maybe we could say the master of real estate is the master of his own life. That is our goal. And then Rintaro says, Oh, oh, <laughs> which just is like, whoa, oh. And then the guy says, hi, yes, or people just say hi all the time. And he sneaks in this phrase, he says, So, so komade means to that extent. And then ikiru means like to say definitively, I guess I would say. Um, sh we have a lesson on this in Native Shark. Let's just look at the summary to explain how that works. Let's type in kiru. Not the many meanings of kiru. Oh yeah, this one. 
doing something completely with vi kiru. Let's just read it. By attaching kiru to the mass stem of a verb, you can describe completely doing an action. This can mean doing all of something or just doing something to an extreme degree. And then if we go down, I'm sure we have an ikiru example. Yeah. You're watching TV with your family. The captain of a soccer team said that no one is more fit for the job than him. And then the sentence is. I like that guy's voice. So, kakkoi <laughs> means cool. And then, what well, looks like we said declared here, but like said definitively. So he, we wrote, he went and said it, but maybe he, yeah, it's hard to translate. He said that definitively. He really went and said that he said it. I don't know. It's hard. So anyway, that's also what is going on here. He said, so come ikiru. Like you would say like this rather bold statement that real, that the master of real estate is the master of one's own life. And then the guy hits him back with, ikirimasu. Ikirimasu. so just, I do, you know, um, if we're translating it, I wouldn't say like, I do say it definitively because that's like a literal translation, but just I do or yeah. Um, in Japanese, they often repeat back the word that was said, like a person often repeats back the word that was said to them instead of saying something like, yeah, or I do, or that's right or something. Okay. And then uh, this is the part where I kind of laughed when I was listening to it for the first time. Uh, Rintaro says, Chotto is a little bit, and then jinsei is life, like we saw. And then again, we have stay to do, but this time it's stay shitai. So this is the Thai form, which means want to do. So instead of to control, it's want to control. And then s is, um, is just des, but it's a little less proper way to say it. I would not recommend it in a super formal situation, like a job interview. Uh, it sounds a little bit, I don't want to say rougher sounding, just not quite as buttoned up, if you will. And at the end, he says wa, which is a sentence ending particle to add emphasis. And if you're like me, then the first few years of your studies, you probably thought that ending a sentence with wa is only something that female speakers do. And that's not true. This is actually a different usage of the particle. So sometimes male speakers also end sentences with wa to add emphasis. It's just they say it a little different. Like if you listen to how he says it, let's just we'll listen to him say it. It's um. <laughs> uh, whereas uh, I'll find you a. Uh, one where a female does it. I think I remember in our Ojo Sama lesson, Ojo Sama is like a, <laughs> that's a topic for another video. It's a young lady of pampered upbringing, so to speak. Anyway, we, I'm sure that we have one like this. Okay. So this is like a female sentence ending. Wow. A wealthy young lady in an anime. Let's see how this guy says it. Let's <laughs> see at the end how they go, what? It's like a, like, it's like, what? At the end, I, Kanemochigo, will assist you. So that is the feminine sentence ending particle, wa. And it's a little different than the way that you hear Rintaro saying, in his sentence, right? And then again, we have a person repeating what was just said by someone else because Kuniyama san, the host of the show, says, so like literally want to control this. Ne. He's just repeating what Rintaro said. And we might translate it as me too, because a literal translation of, yeah, I want to be the master of my life. is just a little bit redundant. And that's the whole video. So let's listen again and see how much you understand this time. <laughs> Okay, if I went uh, too fast or too slow, please just let me know in the comments. If you have a request for a video or something, just also let me know in the comments. And thank you for studying with me. I appreciate you giving your time for these videos. Thank you. この番組はフューチャーラーニングメソッドネイティブシャークがお送りしました。<音楽>